So I'm going to answer a couple of questions that I typically wouldn't make a video about necessarily because they might be really like easy to answer and they don't warrant a video, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, and if you have any questions in the future, comment below. I mean, ask me on my Instagram, I guess. Well, actually, don't ask me too much on my Instagram. I get annoyed easily with that. But YouTube, that's fine. In the comments, ask questions, ask away. On this video, um, ask all the questions you want. I'll try to answer them eventually. Okay, we're losing daylight. So let's start off with Kareem Hanna asks, is it gay that I like your voice? No. Killjoy11707, because obviously there was a Killjoy 117006 and every number preceding. Uh, he says, I'm 17 and my parents want me to go to college and they said that they would rather have me go to college first and then become a Marine officer. Is that a good option in your opinion? I'm going to say if you're going to go to college and then join the Marine Corps, absolutely become an officer. Now, the reason I say that is because you get paid more money, you get put into a leadership position, and all around it's a better lifestyle. Now, don't get me wrong. I do know a lot of Marines that went to college, got a bachelor's degree, and then joined the Marine Corps. The only problem with that is you make a lot less money. I mean, most of those people already have student debt and student loans and all this other stuff. You're not really going to be able to pay those back while you're in the Marine Corps after college if you go enlisted. Now, if you go the officer route, nine times out of ten, you're probably hooked up with a program where they're going to pay your, your uh, tuition for you. Um, they have ROTC, like Miranda, that's what that's what she does. She's going to be uh, an army officer. So they pay for their, for like schooling, books, all that stuff. This is a cool username, Jarhead. Jarhead says, what can I do to get past the mental barrier of my three mile run? My run time is 22 minutes, but my mile and a half time is only 920. So should I be doing a lot better when I run a three mile? I hit a barrier and I have, slow, I have to slow down drastically. I'm fine on pull-ups and crunches though. Any advice? When it comes to running, all I can say is practice, practice, practice. Don't focus on your mile time. It does not matter, okay? What matters is your PFT, your physical fitness test. That's going to be a three-mile run. If you can get out every day or every other day and run a mile or two or three, you're already ahead of the game. And he said that his run time is 22 minutes. I know 22 minutes might not be where you want to be, but it's passing. So if you go to boot camp right now for the 22 minute three mile, you'll be just fine. Um, and I'm sure that will drop. And so just all I can say is keep practicing. If you like running, if you don't like running, I don't care. Just practice and you'll get there. John Smith. Is it just me, or does he sound like Josh Peck? You know, I get that all the time. I guess I kind of hear it a little bit, but... Nah. Heel guy. What happens if you fail an inspection? And I think he's referring to a room inspection. Um, if you fail a room inspection, typically what happens is... A corporal or a sergeant. Oops. Sorry about that. The bus. If you fail a room inspection, typically what happens is a corporal or a sergeant is going to come in the next morning and make sure that you've cleaned again. And if you fail that time, then you're in some pretty big trouble and also you're probably a, a slob to fail an inspection. It's not that hard. Just be clean, you know, pick up after yourself. Don't leave moldy food laying under your bed like I swear to god I've seen that like moldy food under his rack three or four weeks just bugs I don't know I don't know how that happens okay Kyle H you say we were told that if we got a tattoo within PT gear range let's say on the ribs or chest that you didn't even have to report that and that we'd be good mostly no but he's still yes hear me out and say you have like eight tattoos all over your chest, 
that will actually keep you from being either um, being able to switch to the to the officer side or being able to re-enlist in some cases. And if you're dumb enough to go out right now and get a tattoo on your arm or on your neck or below the leg, um, chances are they're not going to let you re-enlist. I know the Army changed their tattoo policy, but... I know the Army changed their tattoo policy, but that does not mean that the Marine Corps has to adhere to the same standards that the Army does. I know what you're thinking. It's so dumb. Why do they even care about tattoos? I agree. I have tattoos. But rules are rules, and they're in place right now. So don't go banking on, oh, the tattoo policy is going to change. I should go get this tattoo. Don't count on it. In In my opinion, I think it will change in the future but not anytime soon. But I'll keep you updated if it does. Rose Dowling said, What MOS should I pick? I'm thinking military police, but not sure yet, and I don't want to be signed up for something I don't like. And the recruiters always ask, What do you want to do? And I don't even know. And Marines tell me not to do open contract. It'll screw you up, and they'll get something like a cook. Well, Rose, I'll tell you what I tell everybody, and you even said it right here. Find something that you love to do and pick that job. I love to make videos. I love to edit videos. I love to shoot videos. I like to shoot photos. I love to talk. I love to talk on camera. So pick a job that you like to do, okay? There's a million jobs in the Marine Corps. You can be a weatherman. You can be a refrigeration repair. You can be a mechanic. You can be so many jobs. You can be a pilot. Like, why limit yourself? A lot of people think that there's only grunts, and what I mean by that is there's only infantry. That is not the case. There are so many jobs, and if all goes well and you have a good career, a good four years, you can get out of the Marine Corps and then go straight into another job that's just like the one you had. So hypothetically, let's say you like cars. So you become a mechanic in the Marine Corps. As soon as you get out of the Marine Corps, instead of going to college or a trade school, You could probably just walk up to any garage and get a nice paying job. So I know you said you don't know what you want to do, and I said that too when I was in high school, but it was sitting right in front of me the whole time. Video. But in my head, I didn't think there was any kind of job in the Marine Corps that I could do where I could do video, and that's just not true. I mean, for example, I have a friend that is a really, really, really talented artist. She is now one of the best artists in the Marine Corps. That's right, her entire job is to just be an artist. Crazy, crazy. All right, guys, I think that wraps it up for me. That was a little bit longer than I expected it to be. I think uh, in the future, I'll probably answer only maybe two or three questions. But uh, yeah, please, please share these videos. I'm telling you, it helps. Uh, The more people you have asking questions, the more information that you'll learn, it just helps everybody out. And it's getting to the point where um, somebody will ask a question in the comments and then somebody else will answer them. And it's just like, I don't even have to be the one answering these. It's awesome. Like, you guys are great. So just share these videos on Facebook or or whatever. Give me a shout out on Instagram. Tag me. Uh, My Instagram name is Clayton Philpo. So, yeah. All right. See you guys tomorrow.